product of the sum and difference of two terms. Let's have here an example. We have the quantity of a plus b multiplied by the quantity of a minus b. This is the product of the sum and difference of two terms because as you can see here we have the two terms inside the parentheses. We have the first term which is a and the second term which is b. The same, whatever terms are included here, they are also present on the second quantity. And then we have here the sum and the difference. But how do we solve the sum and difference of two terms? This is very easy. So the first step is just to square, okay? We will just square the first term. And we have here a squared. And then we will subtract. So the, the square of the first term minus the square of the second term. And this is our answer. It is this easy. Again, remember, the product of the sum and difference of two terms is equal to the square of the first term minus the square of the second term. For our another example, we will try to, okay, to have here a reverse. So a minus b will be the first quantity and a plus b our second quantity. No matter if we interchange the two quantities, if minus sign will come first as the plus sign, okay, the answer would still be the same. It would still be the square of the first term minus the square of the second term. So it would still be a squared minus b squared. This is our answer for the quantity of a minus b multiplied by the quantity of a plus b. Let's have another example. Let's say we have the quantity of k plus 5 multiplied by the quantity of k minus 5 it would still be the square of the first term our first term is k so that will be k squared minus the square of our second term our second term here is 5 so k squared minus 5 squared this will be k squared minus 5 raised to 2 that is equal to 25. So k squared minus 25 is our answer. Let's have another example. Our p of positive 5a minus 6b. And multiply this by the quantity of 5a plus 6b. What will be our answer? The steps would still be the same. It is still the first term or the square of the first term. This will be 5a raised to the power of 2 minus, okay, minus the square of the second term. Our second term is 6b and raised to the power of 2. And let us expand this. We will have here 5 raised to the power of 2, that is 25a squared, minus 6 raised to the power of 2, that is 36b raised to the power of 2b squared. And this is our answer. And then let's have another example. We will have here the quantity. Okay, we will have here the quantity of okay, the quantity of x plus 5 minus 10 multiplied by the quantity of another quantity x plus 5 plus 10. As you can see here, our first term is a quantity. So our first term is x plus 5. And our second term is 
10. Okay. So the same rule applies. Again, our answer would be the square of the first term. So this will be our first term is considered as x plus 5. And it is raised to the power of 2 minus the square of the second term. And that is 10 raised to the power of 2. And our answer here will be, so x plus 5 raised to the power of 2, this will be x squared plus 2 multiplied by the first and the second term plus 5 raised to the power of 2 minus 100. And we will have here x squared plus 10x plus 5 raised to the power of 2 is 25 minus 100 and our final here will be x squared plus 10x plus 10x minus 75 therefore x squared plus 10x minus 75 this is our final answer